even though there's not a ton of places that are open there's quite a bit of spirit in the in the um the the nightlife in tombstone it's still alive and well Fairbank, Arizona uh, was really important because it was the closest railroad stop to Tombstone. So going to Tombstone next. And Tombstone was one of the largest cities in this part of the country. Uh, Fairbank was not that big, but it was important because the supplies came in here, they went to Tombstone. But Tombstone was a big mining town. And that was the reason there were so many people that, that went there. And um, so when the mining died off, Fairbank was not as important. Um, in the late 1800s, it kind of started to decline, had a little bit of resurgence in the early 1900s again uh, from some other local mining areas. But then uh, by the mid 1900s, it really became a ghost town. And by 1970, there was no one here left anymore. Uh, so they've, they've saved some of the buildings. Um, so they've turned it into a kind of historical site that you can walk around and check out so it's kind of kind of interesting Well, I have visited a lot of um, ghost towns and places like this, like these videos, um, a lot this year. And the next one, I'm gonna do something different that I've never done before here in Tombstone. I'm gonna actually stay in the town tonight. So uh, I'm gonna really be able to show you <clears throat> all around Tombstone and then experience a night in the legendary town of Tombstone, Arizona. into Tombstone before we get to show you the historic places. Um, I'm going to check into my hotel for the night. I'm in a miner's cabin. So it is a miner's town. So let's see what the miner's cabin looks like. So Tombstone is a town of like 1,300 people, but this is kind of the tourist attraction. This is Allen Street. This is where all the Wild West things happen. So they've obviously redone as elaborate as anywhere you could ever be. Um, uh, all the stores and all the saloons and, and things like that. Tombstone had at once like 10,000 people and over 100 saloons. So it definitely earned its reputation. and. Uh, but it was so popular, it was a mining town. That's the reason it was popular, like I said before. And, um, and a lot of people came here and um, it became a very notorious place. So it's basically a, a museum of a town. Um, it's a tourist area and it's got a lot of history.
So Big Nose Kate's um, is named after uh, Kate Prescott, I think was her name, who was a companion for uh, Doc Holliday. And um, <clears throat> she was a prostitute from Hungary and um, is one of the more famous people from Tombstone. So they, that was originally um, a hotel. And a lot of the people in the gunfight at the OK Corral stayed there the night before the big gunfight. So the Oriental Saloon is called Wyatt Earp's Oriental Saloon because Wyatt Earp used to work there and that was the original uh, location of the bar and so that's why it was called that. So um, the next place I'm going is Doc Holliday's Saloon. The saloon is not actually the original building for one of the, uh, his saloons, but it does have a history of violence, which is interesting. In the last several years, there's been many gunfights, which is kind of crazy to think about in uh, Tombstone, but gunfights outside of Doc Hollywood's saloon. So hopefully tonight there won't be any of that. six times tonight. This is a crowd participation song, so feel free to join in. I've never been to Tucson, Arizona before, so I need your energy. From Kansas, to nowhere, ready? Sweet Caroline, good time. Even though there's not a ton of places that are open, there's quite a bit of spirit in the in the um, the the nightlife in Tombstone. It's still alive and well. And and when you walk out of one of these bars and you're walking down the the dusty street, um, it kind of is surreal. Hill cemeteries refer to when someone dies with their boots on and a lot of times that would be like a gunfighter you know um, <clears throat> and so here in Tombstone is probably the I would say probably the most famous uh, Boot Hill Cemetery there is because of some of the people that were buried here so these are the guys that were murdered the gunfight at the OK Corral, October 26, 1881. So they give you a <clears throat> a little pamphlet to talk about each one of the people that were buried here and the stories behind them. Some of them are unknown, but there's a lot of stories that about, you know, 
things that happen in the saloons, fights turned into gunfights, uh, murders and things like that. So pretty interesting, fascinating how they were able to kind of do this, keep track of it, organize it and tell a little bit of history. And uh, it's definitely an interesting place to check out. So that's uh, the visit of Tombstone as we literally are finishing where the tombstones are.